how much money you make. It's about how you make the money. And so I want to prove it to you. And uh, by the way, guys, I had some work done on my eyes today. So if I if I come off as <laughs> staring into the screen or uh, looking very, very hard to be able to see, uh, um, trust me, I'm having trouble seeing. So if you have a question or comment, because I'll probably be squinting most of the time. But anyway, I thought it was important enough that I could come on and share this with you. Uh, I'm Sean John, the uh, middleman CEO. Uh, welcome to the channel, Minority Money Mindset. Man, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, this channel is meant to do one thing and one thing only, and that's change the way you think about your finances. So a lot of times the things that I'm going to show you and reveal to you, uh, I'm going to challenge you on a lot of things, right? So uh, there's going to be a lot of things that I challenge you on when it comes to, okay, I think we're back. It's going to be a lot of things that I challenge you on when it comes to your personal finances. Uh, it's going to be a lot of things that I challenge you on when it comes to your money mindset and how you think about money. Uh, so uh, tonight's video is going to be no different. And uh, but I just want to just want to bring something to your mind. By the way, hit subscribe if you don't mind. Welcome to the channel. Hit thumbs up. Uh, help me to grow this channel by smashing a thumbs up and subscribing and by letting at least one other person know about this channel so they can potentially get the content also. And uh, so what we're going to be talking about tonight is something very, very important. And that is this. It's not how much money you make. It's it's not about how. Right. So it's not about the how much. It's not about the how much. Because people always think in terms of finances, they think about, oh, OK, so finance is going to be about how much money you make. And I'm here to tell you, it's not always about how much money you make. Uh, most people in America, 80% of Americans right now today make less than, less than 80K a year. And so I want you to know that 80,000 a year today in 2024 is pretty much struggled life. Uh, 80,000 a year, and I'll show you real quick. And by the way, again, I had some work done on my eyes today. So if you see me squinting, or if you see me struggling to read your comments, by the way, if you have a question or comment, drop it. And if I can see it, I'll get to it uh, and uh, make sure to smash the thumbs up. So it's not about how much money you make. It's about how you make the money. Most people in America today make less than $80,000 for the year. To me, this is a struggle life because the way it breaks down, you're going to get something called a gross, which is the 80K. And then you're going to get something called a net, which is about 60K. So all of a sudden you're down 20K just on taxes. The 60K is what you get. If you divide that by 12, that's $5,000 a month. Now this, if you live in a nice place, probably rent's probably gonna be 25. That's half that. If you have kids in daycare, like I do, the average kid can be about 1,500 a month. Let's say you have one kid. I have two, <laughs> but if you have one, all right, now you're 4,000. Now you gotta put food and fuel uh, now you have 4500 and you're running out of money very quickly. And so that's why I always share with you. It's not how much money you make. It's how you make the money. See, uh, if you make the money on a job, you get taxed first, right? And so your money goes away very, very quickly. Whereas if you do what I recommend you do, which is start, uh, start a business, if you learn to start a business, so look, let's look at a breakdown real quick. So if you have a job, we're going to do the same amount of money, right? Job. And we're going to put MM for middleman business, which is what I have. All right, so we're going to do job and we're going to do middleman business. This is how I break down. If you have a job, let's say the average person, because I think the average salary in America right now is like 48000 So we'll just say fifty grand. So we're going to break down fifty k from a job perspective and from a business perspective. So first thing to happen when you get a job with your fifty k, you get it in the form of a paycheck. First thing that happens, you get a paycheck. Second thing that happens to your paycheck is tax. Pay taxes, then you pay all your bills or expenses, and then whatever's left, you try to save it in a dying bank account. It's it's crazy because today I was at my, I think it's called an optometrist maybe, uh, who does the eye exams, and she and I, I we were talking, and uh, it's crazy because she went to school for four years probably more than that to, to be able to do that. And I, 
I don't have any college, just a week of college, and I'll make more money than she does just by running the business. And I get to keep more money. So it's not a shot at her. She, she does a great job. But just think about the example. So by the way, if this is helping you, smash the thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, go ahead and drop it. Also, just to let you guys know, this is coming Thursday night. I'm going to be doing a free live Zoom training. It's going to be for about 45 minutes. I'm going to teach you how to book, take deposits, and dispatch work to other crews, uh, to other companies, and you get paid for doing it. You don't have to do any of the work. You only have to use your phone to book a customer, get paid, and then send the work to other people. So, uh, for instance, me, I have a moving service that I do it for. Um, I'm in the moving industry. I'm in the home cleaning industry, and I'm in the website industry. So when someone calls uh, or contacts me to get a quote, I'm just doing this very quickly. When they contact me to get a quote, I simply give them a quote, book the customer by getting their info, and then the customer pays me a deposit to schedule the job. My average deposit is about 150 That goes into my pocket. And then I take that customer's information, and then I just dispatch it uh, to an ISP or a service professional who does the work for me. And so when I do it that way, I don't have to do the work. So if you want to be in that live Zoom training, it's going to be about 45 minutes this Thursday night, 7 p.m., so two nights from tonight. I don't know when you're seeing this, but uh, it's quite possibly the last time I'll be able to do a live Zoom training. So make sure you're there, and uh, hopefully I can teach you something that will bless you. And if you want to bypass this and go right into, uh, right into the master class and start training, it's an eight-plus hour class. It'll teach you everything step-by-step step how to do it. Uh, my students right now are averaging between 3,000 to 40, I want to say 4,400 for the first month. So not bad. I have, I have some that's a little over it, but the average is about 3,000 uh, to about 4,500. So still not bad from working from home. Uh, my first year, I made 77,000. This year, I hope to do uh, 350,000 or more. So, uh, but that, that changed my life. So anyway, I'm just trying to share this with you because you guys are at work. I get it, but I just want you to understand these jobs are not loyal. If something happens, what are you going to do next? So you need to learn how to make money while you're at work. So whenever the day comes, you lose your job or you fire your boss, you'll still be good. So first thing that happens when you get a job is you get a paycheck, they tax it, you pay bills, and then you save, save the money that's left. By the way, I'm doing this from my home office, so my kids might bust in here at any time. So, uh, especially my son. And uh, But that's the, again, that's the freedom of being able to do stuff like this. Uh, you be able to work from home, have, have an office in your house, and uh, get to enjoy life. So as soon as I finish this, I'm going to hang out with my kids. So that, that's what I always tell you. I'm not here to teach you to be rich. I, t I tell all my students this. I'm not here to teach you to be rich. I want you to be rich. Yes, get rich if you can but I'm not here to teach you to do that. I'm not here to teach you to be a millionaire, right? I want you to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Nothing's wrong with that. So if you do it, that's awesome. But I'm not here to teach you to do that. I'm here to teach you one thing and one thing only, how to be free. I want to teach you how to get freedom by using a business to live off of as opposed to a paycheck. And I'm about to show you the difference why. Uh, so I'm not feeling great today. I don't know why. I just haven't been feeling my best, so I'm not talking as loud, but I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, so let me check. If uh, if you guys can hear me just fine, if, if my voice level is just fine, uh, put a one in the comments, somebody, and let me know you can hear me just well. If I have to raise my voice, let me know. Uh, but I want to make sure you get this because it's that important. So, and again, if you see me squinting at the screen, all right, there we go. We got a one in the comments. I appreciate that. Uh, if you if you see me squinting at the screen and barely being able to see, uh, I had I had an eye procedure done today. Nothing nothing dramatic, uh, just a regular eye exam. But they had to dolly my eyes, which was weird. And uh, I'm still recovering, so I'm I'm still kind of trying to focus to see things. So I'm not gonna keep you long because I promised my son that we were gonna play. He's got this new wrestling toy game, and we're about to play it right. So. And, but that's freedom because we don't have to go to work in the morning. We don't have to do any of that. We live through a business. But let me just show you. Somebody said, thanks for the valuable content. No, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to get into the live Zoom, just put middleman. I would say put middleman in the comments and you can. The only problem is I don't know how to put the link in the comments. So if you know how to do it on a live, help me. But every time I go to 
respond, it doesn't let me. So under any of my videos that I've done, like the past handful of videos, you can put middleman. And whenever you do, uh, my assistant Cynthia is going to send you the link. Now we're limiting the amount of people and I have my reasons for that. So if you, uh, because I, I give away some cool stuff and uh, so I don't have a lot to give away. Uh, so I limit it. But if you don't get a, get an invite within like, like four to five hours, then we, we don't have any spots left. So real quick. So there's two ways you can make money. You can make money via job or you can make money uh, via a business. Now there are other ways there's investments and stuff like that, borrow money, stuff like that. But we just don't focus on different between the job and the business. So uh, let's use the example of 50K. I think the average American, if I'm not mistaken, makes about, I want to say 40 to 48,000, something like that. Not a lot. That's struggle life. Uh, I, I claim today, I submit to you the idea that today you really need to see this. If you make less than $80,000 today at your job, you are in financial danger. I'm this close to saying that if you make 100K a year, you're, you're teetering the line of financial purgatory. It's that dangerous. Yes. Yes, it's that dangerous, and I'll show you why. So if you make 50K uh, in, a pay, in a job, in a paycheck, the, first of all, the worst thing that happens here is not this. The worst thing that happens is you believe that time equals money. And so you're willing to trade all your time just to get a little bit of money. The problem is that you're working with a limited resource. One day you're going to run out of time. One day the company's not going to want to pay you for it. Right? One day... You're not going to have it. So it's a very limited resource. And the worst part is you don't control it. I don't control it either. So the last thing I want to do is work until I die. I don't want to do that. Right. There are people who risk their lives trying to get to work each morning. I see them on the interstate driving through traffic, speeding just to get to work on time. If I got to risk my life to get to your job, I'll be late. You can fire me. I can get another job. I can't get another life. My kids can't get another dad. That's how I think, right? And so let's talk about business, the middleman business, for example, right? So you get a job, $50,000, right? First thing happened with your $50,000 paycheck, you get something called a gross, which is the fake money, 50K. Then you get something called a net, which is the real money. I always say the gross is toast. The net is what you get. I hope you guys are tracking. Let me know if you're tracking. If you're not tracking, you're lacking. Uh, all right, so and if you have a question or comment, drop it while I can see it, <laughs> literally while I can see it. I should be better tomorrow, guys, so we'll be ready. But your gross, your net is your real money. So your net, I'll be nice, your net is 40K. So instead of getting the 50 they promise you, you found out very quickly that you have a net. So the gross shows up on your paycheck, right? So the gross shows up as 50K on your paycheck, right? First thing happens to your paycheck. You get it? It goes into your bank account? Nope. Taxes. I guarantee you the gross doesn't go into your bank account. The net does. So the net is what goes into your bank account. The net is 40K. All of a sudden, you're down 10000 and you have to make this work, right? So now your bills come in. If you live in a nice place, let's say today, a really nice place, you pay, I'll be nice, 2000 2000 a month. If you have a kid, daycare, another 1000 that's cheap, but we'll just stay low, 3000 Now you're down to 2000 right? Uh, you got your bills, your car, your insurance, your food and gas, all of a sudden, you might have $500 at the end of the month because you're down when you're doing 40K, uh, when you split 40K in five months, uh, in 12 months, you're looking at what, about 3,600? So you're really already struggling. So let's break 50K down because you a lot of you guys think 50K is a lot of money. I'm telling you it's not. I, I can take it up a level. I'll show you. Let's raise this to what I call borderline struggle. 80K, because I feel like if you make less than 80K now, you're really in trouble. But let's go to 80K just, to, just for me to prove my point to you or to give you a different perspective. And you might say, that guy's wrong. Or you might say, you know what? That makes sense. Smash thumbs up if, you, uh, if you're getting any value from this video. Let's do 80K. All right. So 80K pops off and most people don't make 80K. Uh, so if you're under 80K, you already know you're in trouble. 80K, right? 80K breaks down after taxes, 5000 a month. All right, so you got your bills, your rent, and in a good place might be 2500 So now you have that, right? Let's see. 
let's see, we'll, we'll stay small. So what are the major deals? All right, you got your rent, your rent or your mortgage, let's be nice, we'll say 2,000, right? Because you only have a 5,000 budget, right? So rent's 2,000, uh, if you have a car, we'll say the car and the insurance, 1,000. I'm being nice, I know, I know a lot of times it's more. We'll say daycare, if you got one kid, daycare, another 1,000. You and I both know that ain't right. We both know that ain't true. We know daycare is more than that. But we'll just stay small. The daycare for my kids, 1,500 a child. Right, and we got two in daycare. So just to give you a heads up. Uh, so daycare right there, right? And now you got your utilities, right? It's your lights, your water, your cable, your phones, all that. We'll just keep it nice. We know it's more, but we'll just keep it low, say 500. I'm keeping it low, so I don't scare you to death, but I want you to see this. And then the last thing uh, you probably have to pay that you don't think about a lot is your food, what I call F and F, food and fuel. So your gas and your food. We know it's more than 500, but I'm keeping it nice so you don't scare yourself to death and I don't scare you. I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to educate you. See the difference? I don't want you to panic. I want you to process and then get perspective and then pursue a better move, right? So here it is. So that's 5,000, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all your money right there. I didn't even realize that. And I kept this stuff low, right? So now your whole budget is gone. What can you save? There's zero money to save. You're spending 5K or, or close to on your bills to live a decent life. Now, if you want to live struggle life and live in bad areas like I grew up in, sure, you'll save money, but it ain't worth it. Not if you got a family. I'd rather sacrifice and have no money saved and to put my kids and my family in a dangerous environment. So save, no money left to save. And even if you did have money left to save, you know how I feel about savings. That savings is a dead end. And it's just uh, it's just money in the bank that makes the bank wealthy, you poor. So that's a breakdown of how quickly money can move out of your hands, right? And so that's having a business. But if you notice, I'm sorry, that's having a uh, paycheck. But again, that ain't even the worst part. The worst part is that you sell your time for money. Because what you don't know, and I know, but you don't know, is that you're going to run out of time. You don't think about that. You don't think about, man, the only way I'm making money is selling my time for money at a job. They don't pay me what I'm worth. They'll fire me as soon as they find someone on the, on the other side of the country who will work for less. As soon as they find AI to replace me, I'm gone. Uh, as soon as they need to cut budget, I'm out of here. So I know these jobs are not loyal. I know they're not safe. I know they're not secure. And I know they don't want me here. They love me, yes but they'll let me go because I affect the bottom line. I'm a liability to the brand. You need to understand when you go to work, you're not an asset to that company. Please don't ever do that. Don't think that. I need you to understand this, that your company is going to treat you like a side piece. You're just, you're just a piece on the side. You need to treat them like a side piece. They're going to use you until they no longer need you and then send you on your way. They're never going to commit to you. They're never going to put a ring on it. They're never going to ask you to marry them. So you need to uh, play the same game. You guys, listen, the blueprint for how to be successful and how to, how to fail, it's already out there. But you don't recognize the blueprints on how to fail. You just do what I used to do and keep going through the same cycle and going, hey, I'm going to sell all my time to get a paycheck. And then when I get a paycheck, the government's going to tax the crap out of it. And then when I get, uh, after they tax me, I'm going to try to live off whatever they left me. So I'm going to pay my bills and then I pretty much got nothing in savings. You know what? I'm going to do it again. That's what we do without even thinking about it. I think I, I think I opened my eyes a little too wide on that one. Guys, forgive me. Uh, I had a, a small uh, eye procedure done today and they had to dilate my eyes. So I'm kind of struggling to see everything, but I still thought this was valuable and I wanted to sh share with you. Uh, so if you have a question or comment, drop it. If you like what you're hearing, do me a huge favor. All this is free information for you. I just want you to see it and change your life. I'll ask in return is that you click the thumbs up and let somebody else know about the channel. So I know I'm not conventional. I know there's a lot of people out there that's giving you a lot of fluff online that is meant to make you believe that a lot of stuff is true. That's not true. That's not me. I'm not going to fluff you. A few years ago, I was homeless. I wasn't even homeless for the first time. That was my third time being homeless since I was a senior in high school. 
So what I give you is what I've learned. I want you to learn the easy way, not the hard way. So if you learn it the easy way, uh, then you won't make the mistakes I did, right? So, uh, so, but this is what I used to practice for years and it always kept me financially struggling because if you notice, there's no exit. There's no do better button. There's none of that. As long as you practice this, this is your life. I call this the cycle broke. You'll always be broke if you practice this cycle, guaranteed, right? Because most jobs are not going to pay you over 80 grand. Most of you don't make 80 grand. And this was an 80 grand example. So if you're making less than 80 grand, you already know this is true. You're feeling it now. Now, let's take the same 80 grand, move it over to a job, to a business, right? Now, with a business, now remember on a job, you have to trade time for money in order to get that paycheck. On a business, you're not thinking that way. You're thinking money is time. So you're not thinking trade time for money when you create a business and you want to be rich or wealthy. You're thinking, I want my time back, so I need money so I don't have to go to work and I can buy back my freedom. Because if I, if I have to go to work, I got to sell my time. Time's the most valuable thing. But if I could create a business that makes money that'll take care of me through cash flow, then I don't have to sell my time and I can live my life on my terms, be with my family, enjoy life. I don't have to be rich. I just want to be free. So remember, I'm not here to teach you to be rich. I want you to be rich. Go for it. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not here to teach you to be a millionaire. Nothing wrong with it. Go for it. I'm here to teach you to be free. So we're going to use the example of just 80K. 80K doesn't make you rich. It doesn't make you a millionaire. It doesn't even make you six figures a year. But if you do it the right way, it'll make you free. So let's talk about the 80K. By the way, I'm not going to be on long. So if you have a question or comment, drop it real quick. Uh, also, this Thursday night, 7 p.m., I'm doing a live Zoom training for about 45 minutes. Uh, if you want to get on it, put middleman in the comments and you'll get an invite to the free live training. I'm going to teach you three things that I do from my phone, how I've been able to work from home since 2020 and finally this year in January, retire my wife. I'm in my home office. I can literally go get my wife from downstairs. She could tell you she does not have to work. Right now, in, in all transparency, because I'm not going to lie to you or deceive you, that's not me. Uh, my wife does work from time to time. Uh, she was making $100,000 here in Dallas as a dental hygienist. And she was, she's been doing that for about four years. This year, we don't need her money. That's the difference. So she does work from time to time. Something about keeping a license active. If you're in the medical field, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but she does work anytime she feels like it. But when she doesn't want to work, she doesn't have to. And we don't need her paycheck. That's freedom. Now, she's, she, my wife's only in her 30s, so she doesn't, she doesn't want to sit around the house. I'm okay with that. But my point is, this January, I was able to tell her, hey, we don't need your paycheck. We'll work whatever you want to. So I guess pre-retired, semi-retired, that works. Because uh, retirement's not the goal either. Freedom is the goal. Uh, you're going to be retired by yourself. Everybody's going to be working. We just want freedom. So here we go. Here we go. By the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. Welcome to the channel. If you want to get into that live training Thursday night, 7 p.m. Texas time for about 45 minutes. And I'm going to teach you what I do from my phone, what I've been doing for the past four years and how I was able to retire my wife and why I don't need a job. But I do know this. For the first month. So not bad. Even if you make 3000 you didn't have to go to work to do it. You didn't have to leave your house. I'm just saying, right? Because we need freedom. And the only way we're going to do it is we got to get away from these jobs. Don't quit it. Let the middleman business make enough money first and then quit. Okay. All right. So here we go. Middleman business. You start a middleman business. Use the same 80K. Let's say a middleman business makes 80K. All right. Gross. All right. So here's the difference between making 80K on a job, 80K on a business. And we're going to use the middleman business. Of course we are. Right. So we're really any business, but a middleman business, 80K. First thing that happens uh, when you have a middleman business is you get something called cash flow. So cash flow is money moving into the business, right? Cash flowing like a river. So whether you're at work or not, your business is still able to make money, especially if you're like me, you have a VA who makes the money for you. So I can go do a doctor exam like I did today, check my account, still make money, right? So, uh, 80K, you make cash flow. So right away, we went from making a paycheck where we trade time for money to cash flow, where we're going to trade money for time, right? I told you, time is the goal, freedom. 
right? And so you're thinking, all right, next thing you do is pay taxes. Not when you have a business. Taxes are for the poor and the middle class. The rich, I'm gonna let y'all know something, y'all probably not gonna wanna hear this, but the poor don't pay taxes. When I was poor, the government paid me. The poor don't pay taxes. They don't have any money. The government writes them income tax re refund checks. They don't give you that because they like you. They give you that because you didn't make enough money and they don't want you to rob your neighbor's house. Am I making sense? Let me know if you're tracking in the comments, all right? So if this is helping you, smash the thumbs up. That's the only way I know. Uh, so the government, the, the poor don't pay taxes. The rich don't pay taxes. Reason being, they either have their money from a business or from banks, which is debt. Remember a few years ago when there was a lot of uproar and they were saying Donald Trump, you know, was making all this money, but he wasn't paying taxes. Uh, you always be logical. Here's what I tell my kids. Hey, there's a head size to the coin and there's a tail size to the coin. That's a coin, believe it or not. I don't want you on the head side or the tail side. I want you right in the middle so you can see both sides, get both stories so you can make the best decision. So a lot of people went out there and went nuts because they was like, oh, this man's a billionaire not paying taxes. And I was sitting there going, wait a minute, I'm not going to get emotional about this. You're not in prison. How do you do that? See, I want to know the game. I know the IRS, they're not arresting you. You're not in jail. So it must be legal. What are you doing? That's what I want to know, right? And that's what a logical person would do. Middle class is the victim when it comes to paying taxes. You're 100%. Uh, the middle class pay all the taxes, and that's where I was getting to. See, yes, somebody's tracking. And so the poor don't pay taxes because there's no money. What are they going to pay taxes with? The government can't afford to take from them. When I was poor, I paid no taxes. The rich pay very little taxes. And don't get me wrong, 1% of a billionaire is going to be more taxes than you and I pay. But the rich typically don't pay taxes because what they didn't teach you in school is that debt or borrowed money is tax-free. That's how a guy like Donald Trump cannot pay taxes. So instead of us get mad, we need to say, wait a minute, how do you do that? So I can do it. Teach my kids how to do it. So when you borrow money from a bank, you don't pay taxes. You pay interest on the loan, but because it's not earned income, a job is earned income, trade time for money is earned income. Uh, because borrowed money is not earned, it's debt. There's no debt on tax free. Uh, there's no taxes on debt. I'll just change your life right there. Just that little bit was worth tuning in tonight. Just that little bit was worth tuning in. Debt is tax free. You borrow money from the bank. Think about it. Last time you got a loan for a car or a house, did they tax it? No, debt is tax free. See, they're not going to teach us that because they want us to go get jobs so they can tax us. Well, not me, you, right? Who pays all the taxes? Somebody already got it. The middle class. The government just rented, went and printed 1.2 trillion, not billion, trillion dollars about a week ago to take care of themselves. Where do you think that money's coming from? You, who's going to pay that back? I remember watching Martin when I was a kid and there was a character, Tommy. And one thing about Tommy is he didn't have no damn job. I want you to know the government is just like Tommy from Martin. They don't have a job. So the question is, Who's going to pay the Fed back? Because that's where the government borrows money from the Fed. So here's, I didn't even mean to get into this. How did y'all get me here? I got to go. I got to get off of here. But let me show y'all something real quick. How bar, how, when the government said they're printing money or they pass a money bill, here's what they're talking about. There's this bank called the Federal Reserve Bank. It's not federal. It's not a reserve. It don't have any reserve. And it's damn sure not a bank. It's a mafia, but don't get me into that. Right? So the Federal Reserve handles the money supply. So the government, the U.S. government, goes to the Fed, right? So the U.S. government goes to the Fed and borrows money from the Fed. The Fed gives them the money, and then the government takes the money and give it to you if they have a stimulus. Or if, they, if, they're, uh, if they're getting the money for other purposes, the government distribute the money. Now, the government borrowed $1.2 trillion. The question is, who's going to pay that back? Well, that ain't even the question. First thing is printed money destroys this savings accounts. Your money already makes zero interest. You're thinking, hey, I still it didn't destroy my savings. I still got the five thousand dollars. 
Yes, you still have the $5,000 quantity wise, but what you're forgetting is the buying power. Your money loses its buying power. Remember you used to take $100 to the store and put some, you could take a basket and put, put a few bags in a basket. Now to spend $100 at the grocery store, you could just pick up one of those little hand plastic baskets. <laughs> Seriously. Somebody said, uh, middle class paid taxes, wage slaves are the system sacrifice. Absolutely. Uh, so when the government borrows money, they're gonna you're gonna pay it back. The government is negative 31 trillion in their bank account and they still write checks. Why? Because you go to work. How do they know that? They trained you since you were a child to go get a job. Am I lying? Think about it. When was the last time they, anybody talked to you about starting a business when you was a kid? They only talked to you about getting jobs. So it's all a part of it. The pretty assistant and the, and, the, and, the, and the magician. I know, boy, they got you. They got me too, almost. So, but now I'm here. We're here to wake up the next generation. That's what we're here to do. So the government borrows money from the Fed. The Fed gives them the money. The government has to pay the loan back. And so the government, in order to pay back these ridiculous loans of $31 trillion in debt, they borrow the money from you. How do they know you're going to have it? Because they trained you to go get jobs. Pavlo's dogs. They trained you to get a job. They know you're going to be at work. How? Because they know you got bills. The job knows it too. When you pull up in your new car, they look out the window and go, that's your car? Yeah, that's my car. Okay, how are you paying for it? Five years. Okay, book him. He'll be here for five years. Isn't it sad? But now I'm giving you the game. Now you know better. Teach your children better. And you can do better. I wish I knew this 20 years ago. I wish I did. So here we go. By the way, smash the uh, thumbs up if this is helping you or giving you any value. So instead of taxes, the next thing that happens when you get cash flow, you can pay your bills or with your business, all the expenses. And then after that, you get to save or reinvest. So we'll just put save. But you can save money or reinvest. Most rich people and wealthy people don't save money. I, I know any rich people. Think about any rich people you know or been around or heard from. Uh, they never talk about saving money. They only talk about investing. Think of the last time you heard a rich person talk about a rainy day account, an emergency account. Only the poor and middle class do that. They manifest that stuff. I dare you to get rid of your savings, uh, to get rid of your emergency account, to get rid of your uh, rainy day account, and get you an opportunity account. You park 10 grand in, I got to I was talking to a guy, well, I wasn't talking to him, but he commented on one of my videos. He was like, you're wrong about saving. I have, I have 500K in a savings account. How stupid is that? That money could be used to make more money, but instead it's parked in a graveyard in a bank dying. Did you know that the banks tell you to save money and the banks don't even save money? Did you know that the banks use your money to make money? then why not think like the bank? They invest. The banks are broke. Banks don't have money. Banks live off cash flow. Put 10000 in there and go try to get it out. They'll tell you, come back tomorrow. They don't have it. They've loaned it. The bank's a business. You save money in banks and banks don't even save money. If banks save money like you do, they would be out of business. So what does that mean? You're what? Out of business. Cash flow. Then you pay your bills, then you save money or invest. And then the very last thing you do with the business is you pay taxes. And that ain't even all the way true because the government gives you deductions where you can write off the taxes and you could probably walk away paying zero money. So the next time you hear about a rich person not paying taxes and they're not in prison for tax evasion and it's legit, then you need to stop getting emotional and get logical and say, wait a minute, how do you do that? That's how we should be addressing these things, right? So look at the difference, all right? Going to a job, on average, if I'm not mistaken, will cost you about 3,000 hours a year. Remember, I told you the goal is to be free. 3,000 hours a year if you work a job. You got to sell that to get that salary. Over here, if you create a middleman business like I do, I work about an hour a day. Uh, if I work an hour a day, five hours for the week, I don't even do that because I have a VA now, but I used to. Five hours a week, 50 hours is what? About 250 hours. Now, this is for the year. Some of you do this in two weeks, three weeks, really. But think about this. Which would you rather do? Would you rather make 80K 
working 250 hours a year, or would you rather make 80K working 3,000 3, hours a year? Not only that, would you rather your 80K drop down to 60K before it hits your bank account? Did you know you're the last person to get paid? You go out, put in all the work, and then everybody uh, pretty much goes through your paycheck, and then whatever's deposited is what's left for you to live off. To me, that's amazing because you did all the work, but everybody else got paid. Your, your utility company got paid, your car company got paid, your house company got paid, uh, your credit card bills got paid, schools got paid, student loans got paid, doctor bills got paid, groceries got paid, everything got paid, the government got paid, and then the last person to get paid is you. And oftentimes, you're left with a big fat zero. So I tell people, don't focus on saving money. Well, Sean, you got to have a save, you got to have an emergency account. For what? I was talking to a friend today, the, my, my friend and the doctor, uh, who's the, op, the, God, don't make me say, whatever an eye person is. Is it, is it an optometrist? I think it is. I'm, I'm embarrassed if I didn't say that right. So, uh, and she, she probably makes about 150K a year here in uh, Texas. So not bad. But I, I was talking about savings accounts to her. And she was like, yeah, but you got to have a savings. And my question is, says who? Who trained you? Same people who told you this? That's who told you that. You got to have a savings. Listen, the rules of money changed in 2020. I don't know if you were paying attention, but the game's not the same. So, okay, you put, what are you going to put in a savings account? 10000 Okay, that's dead money. Why? Because if you don't use money, it's not useful. Money is only useful when it's used. It's only good when you exchange it for something. The banks do it. You don't. You sit on your money. Banks know you're not coming back, so they invest it. Right? So, you park money in the bank. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you had a rainy day or an emergency that cost you $5,000 right there? You didn't. I know. When was the last time you had an emergency or a rainy day that cost you $1,000 right there? You didn't. All I'm saying is, I don't mind you have a savings account. That's fine. You don't have to have zero in the bank. Just don't focus on savings, right? Because that's dead money. I would. I just want to challenge you to, hey, when you get money, you could, you could literally put $1,000. Okay, if you want a month's worth of bills, okay, fine. Here's my point. Before you even get to where you have to rely on your savings, you should be working on a business or some type of side hustle to make you money so that when the day does come where you need your savings account, you don't need the money out of it. You already have a business. So it should look like this. And when your company comes to you and say, hey, we no longer need you, got to let you go. Hey, guess what? Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'm good. Thank you all so much. Hey, you're not mad? No, I'm good, man. I've been working. I knew y'all were going to fire me. You kidding me? I knew y'all wouldn't retire me. Nobody's working at jobs for four years. I knew you go. I was preparing. So I started a side business, a middleman business from my phone. It's been making money. Not much, 5000 a month. That's it. But it's enough to pay my bills and I don't have to work anymore. Am I rich? No. Am I a millionaire? No. But my bills are only 4000 a month. My, my company makes five. I'm free. I don't need a job to take care of myself. In fact, I'm going to do something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> take piano lessons at a, at a late age. Whatever, right? And so... If I, instead of focusing on having a savings account, like most people tell you, I just challenge you to get that. Focus on cash flow. So instead of worrying about having a savings account, create a business that makes cash flow. So you don't have to worry about having a savings account. You got cash flow. The poor and the middle class are the only ones talking about having a savings account and emergency accounts. The rich are saying, where can I put my money? What, can, what kind of business can I build? where my money can continually make money every month, it'll be there. Just printing money. You got a savings account? No. Why would I have that? To make the banks rich? No. Live off cash flow. How much your cash flow is? Hey, not much, 5000 a month. Well, what happens when you, you, you spend it? Oh, I'm going to spend it. But what happens is it's going to be back next month. It's a business. It just keeps printing the money. It's going to make 5000 next month. And then the month after that. Well, it should grow, but I'm just using an example. Anyway, guys, I got to bounce. I got a three and a half year old that I promise we can have some fun tonight. So, uh, again, thank you for bearing with me. I'm still struggling to see the screen. So if it's kind of dark, I apologize. But it did help me to not make it as bright. If this helped you, smash thumbs up. Uh, if you want an invite to the live middleman training, that's going to be Thursday night, 7 o'clock Texas time, Central Standard Time. Be there early. I'm only letting a certain amount of people in. Put middleman in the comments or into any of the videos, you'll get an invite. If you don't, that means we're full. We cut it off. Uh, I'm going to teach you three things, what I've been doing since 2020, how to book, deposit, and dispatch uh, from your phone, get paid to do it, uh, 
students are averaging anywhere from three to 4,500 their first month. So that's pretty good. Best part about it is, hey, it, you might not get rich the first year. Hopefully you do. Uh, so you can tell me and I can share with everybody else the good news. But best part about it is you don't have to trade your time for money. You can literally do this from the home, from the beach or whatever you want to do. That's all I'm trying to get you to understand is that life ain't about money. Yes, money is important, but I'm telling you it's about time. If you can make all the money in the world, but if you sell your whole life to get it, what are we talking about? You, you didn't even live. But I'd rather make less money and be free than to make more money and be a, a, a slave to wages. All right. Hope it makes sense. Put middleman in the comments. Get an invite. Tell somebody about the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed and wonderful night. Peace.